So as a lazy girl myself, sometimes I find it really hard to be naturally motivated to do things like wake up early, work out, not scroll on my phone, eat healthy, etc. The thing is, motivation is not always constant. You're always going to have ups and downs. But in today's video, I bring you guys along my routine and show you my best tips to help sustain my motivation. And that also helped me stay in a really good momentum. I hope you guys enjoy. It is bright and early. I'm gonna go ahead and read my daily affirmation for the morning. I didn't have like the best sleep last night. Sometimes I feel like when I don't have the best sleep, I don't wake up as tired, which is weird. Probably because like I wasn't at my REM sleep when I when my alarm went off. But it's always hard getting back into waking up early off of the weekend because I like to take my weekends to sleep in. So it just makes it extra hard. So my first tip to stay motivated is to create a system and a routine that works for you. You can take inspiration from my morning routine, you could take inspiration from anyone's morning routine, but when it comes down to it, you can't really necessarily copy it because you really want to curate a routine that you love to do and that works for you and fits into your lifestyle. Because if you're implementing things into your routine that you really dread doing, then you're never going to be motivated and want to do your routine. So creating a routine that works for me and that I really love has helped me so much to actually maintain those habits and it's also kept me consistent with those habits and habits really do contribute to sustained motivation and not just create a morning routine which I do feel like is the most important one but just kind of creating a good healthy routine for a whole entire day even continuing that after the morning routine because routines can really help create a sense of structure which makes your habits feel a little bit more automatic over time so it's just easier for you you to do and it'll be easier for you to feel motivated because you're not dreading anything and if you don't know what kind of routine is going to work for you try different things out try one morning routine and then switch up what you don't like about it add things that you want to add into it sometimes i'm switching my morning routine around because it is good to switch it up sometimes and add new habits take out some old habits that i don't want to do anymore but as long as your habits align with your goals and create the person you want to be then you're good and you will definitely be motivated to do them let's get up for the day do our morning routine and I'm gonna take you guys along. especially at 5 a.m. But another tip that I have for you guys, this is probably an obvious one, but it's to set goals. And I've talked about this a lot on my channel, but I'm gonna say it again because it is so important. If you don't have goals, if you don't have some sort of system in place, then you're just not gonna be motivated because you don't have anything to work towards. And having something to work towards, even if it's like just the smallest thing, is the best feeling ever. And it gives you kind of a sense of purpose. And you almost have to have something to work towards in order to have proper motivation. I know that sometimes goals can feel super daunting and they can feel like these huge, achievable thing that is going to be impossible to get to but that is like the furthest thing from true if you take your big goal whatever it is and you sit down with a piece of paper and you break it up into smaller pieces it's gonna look way more achievable when it's in a system format rather than just writing it down as one huge goal so you can write down okay this is my goal and this is what i'm gonna do to achieve it this is gonna be my morning routine every day i'm gonna work x amount of hours on it doing this i'm gonna implement this habit 
have it that makes it a lot easier for you to see how it could be possible to achieve it rather than just setting mindless goals and then that's it just leaving them like that you have to give yourself a why so why do you want to achieve your goals having a strong why is going to really 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 help with your motivation day to day write your goals down write the way they're going to make you feel and put that next to your nightstand just to remind yourself every single day why you're doing what you're doing or you can even make a mini vision board of each of your goals or even make a vision board of your routine just kind of romanticize it for yourself put it beside your bedside table or hang it up somewhere where you see it every single day in your room and you're gonna have way more motivation that way your environment is everything for motivation as well just like little things like that can drastically change up your environment and the way that you feel in your environment so make sure you do the best that you can to surround yourself with a good environment i would suggest taking a look at your bedroom where you spend the most time in and thinking to yourself okay what can i do to make this space more motivating for me there's a lot of things that can really really help spark that motivation every day but i'm gonna get dressed now and i'm gonna head to the gym and get a nice workout in this morning so my next tip to sustain motivation is honestly buying new clothes and treating yourself whenever i get new clothes i just get so excited i don't know if it's just me but it really does affect my motivation because i get out of bed and i'm like oh my gosh i get to put on a new outfit today and it's just the best feeling so i'm gonna give you guys a princess polly haul thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video so i do have a discount for their website which is michaela 20 and that'll give you 20 percent off your princess polly order princess polly ships from within the united states they have free standard shipping which is three to six business days to the u.s on orders over 50 dollars princess polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all u.s customers we are in our winter cold era so these are my princess polly kind of winter picks so let's get into the haul everything is actually right behind me the first thing i got from them is this pink sweatsuit oh my goodness the way that this fits is so amazing one of the best fitting sweatsuits i own and the color is just so cute i feel like a baby pink princess in this set and i love Love it. Next thing I got is this puffer. I was actually so shocked on how good quality and how warm their puffers are. This puffer has a cinch elastic thing at the bottom. So you could kind of wear it straight or you can cinch it up so that it kind of fits perfectly over top of your leggings or your jeans. That's what I did. I'm very picky about the way my puffers are and the way they fit, but these ones actually blew me away. I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next thing I got is the same puffer. I had to get it in black as well. I just love myself a good puffer because our winter here in Vancouver is so long. I'm always wearing a jacket the more the merrier in my eyes and this one is just so cute the next thing i got is this bodysuit even though i don't go out often it's nice to have options when i do go out and it's so cute i love how it's a bodysuit so i can wear it with like low-waisted jeans and my stomach will still be covered and it's also so dainty so the next thing i got is this kind of duo set and sometimes when i go out i don't really feel like exposing my arms so i like how this is a combination of still having a tank top but it covers my arms so it's kind of the best of both worlds the next thing i got is this cozy comfy knit sweater i've been wanting a sweater like this for so long now and this is just the cutest thing this is giving winter and it's giving my grandma's sweater which i love and it is the vibe right now so the next thing i got is these jeans and these are such a good fitting pair of jeans and they're super comfortable the wash is just perfect where it's in between kind of that dark wash and the light wash the way that they fit is so perfect they're not too baggy they're not too tight they're like the perfect medium i've been wanting a jacket like this for so long now it's just the perfect versatile jacket that you need in your life every single time i go out i think of this type of jacket and i'm like i wish i had this i feel like this is just one of those closet staples that you're gonna wear time and time and time again and it'll never get old next thing i got is another puffer don't get mad at me but i'm just obsessed let me tell you i wore this negative 15 degree weather and i was so warm i was actually shocked so soft i love like kind of the corduroy material on it and i love the color i don't have anything like this this one also has the adjustable cinch straps which i love it's such good quality and so comfy next thing i got is this red bag for those nights out where i want to carry my camera my phone my wallet my lip glosses this is a perfect size bag because it still looks really cute around your shoulder but it has the extra space that a mini bag does not have so i also ended up getting this black bag but i love how it kind of has an edgy twist on it with the strap it could turn like a basic outfit into not so much of a basic outfit you know and i also really like the material on this one i've been wanting a hat like this for so long i think this is how you wear it but slay are you kidding me i just feel like i'm a little winter princess in this and i love it keeps my head warm and it's so comfortable it's so 
soft. Next thing I got from them is this trucker hat. I'm obsessed with it. I've already worn it like 1200 times. I'm very picky with the fit of my hats. This one fits me to a T. Last thing I got from them are these little cute socks. Look at the little bows on the back and the ruffles. 10 out of 10 recommend getting yourself a pair of cute socks like this. They just make the biggest difference. I feel like the winter could be just so kind of depressing sometimes because of the weather, but buy yourself some cute new winter clothes and I swear your mood will just be elevated and your motivation will be elevated. Trust me. Don't forget to use my code to get a discount on their website. Everything will be linked down below. for the gym just about to leave but one thing that's really really important another tip to sustain your motivation is to make things fun for yourself romanticize things it's so important to do that if you have a hard time having motivation to work out try to find a workout buddy if you can't find a workout buddy try to maybe go to a new workout class trying something new and always switching things up for yourself makes you just that much more excited to do something and motivated to do it whenever i'm going to a new workout class or working out with my friends i jump out of bed i feel so happy because it gives me so much motivation because i'm actually really really looking forward to it rather than just being a robot and doing the same workout every single day ever since i started doing workout classes and trying out different ones every week it just really 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 makes a world of a difference and i was having a hard time going to the gym because i'm like oh, going to the gym is so boring i'm just all alone i don't have a gym buddy but then i started making the gym more fun for myself when i was on the treadmill i would watch a motivational youtube video and then when i was doing my workout i would have a podcast on or in between my sets i'd be reading a book so just finding things like that that you can integrate into your everyday workouts actually really does make a big difference and i've even been trying to switch things up at the gym so like not doing the same workout over and over again i looked at tiktok for some workout inspiration to try some new exercises out so switching things up is really underrated i feel like and it's so important to sustaining that motivation and making you excited and actually want to go and work out and do things so think about that and think about hmm why do i dread working out so much is it because i don't make it fun for myself is it because i don't like what i'm doing try to find things that work for you when working out and that you're excited to do and don't just stick to one thing switch it up all the time try running try walking try going to the gym try a workout class try pilates like try anything because i swear it just personally for me it makes me so so excited to work out and try something new that's been a game changer for me when it comes to working out and it's helped me so much to muster up the motivation to get myself to work out every single day so yeah i just love romanticizing my life in general that goes for everything so anyways, I'm going to head to the gym now and I will see you guys there. guys i just got to the grocery store and finished up at the gym another tip to stay motivated is to reward yourself after doing something productive that you wanted to get done when you set up a reward system for completing tasks it subconsciously tricks your brain into wanting to do more and wanting to complete more things because your brain associates doing something with getting a reward it's exactly like training a dog when he does something right you give him a treat so like bring that energy into yourself as well when you do something good and when you accomplish something 
thing give yourself a little treat whatever that looks like for you because positive reinforcement can help associate tasks with positive feelings and then it makes you more motivated and makes you want to do more so it's literally just a chain effect so i'm about to go grocery shopping and i since i just went to the gym i'm gonna go in there and get myself a little treat i always love doing this after the gym when i go grocery shopping as a little reward for myself like hey i completed my morning routine i stuck to my plan and i accomplished what i wanted to accomplish this morning so i'm gonna go buy myself a little sweet treat maybe a kombucha i don't know i'm just gonna see what they have and buy something for myself on the side of actually going grocery shopping yeah it seems a little stupid maybe but i swear to you it makes the biggest difference and it does really rewire your brain and trick you to want to accomplish more things and be more motivated because driving in the gym your brain is going to subconsciously be thinking happy thoughts because it knows it's going to get a little treat afterwards you know so anyways i think that that really really works and a reward can look very different for everybody it doesn't have to be a sweet treat it can be maybe you reading or scrolling on social media whatever that looks like to you anyways let's go grocery shopping i just made a list for what i need for dinner i'm gonna make some honey garlic chicken tonight i've never made it before i found the recipe on pinterest so i'm really excited so i'm gonna buy ingredients for that and just stock up on a couple of things that we need so let's go do our weekly grocery shop Just finished grocery shopping and I picked up myself a pink vitamin water, the kiwi strawberry one. It's so good. I just felt like this over like at really anything else today. And vitamin waters are a little treat for me because I don't get them all the time, but I really do love them. So cheers. I'm going to drink this on the way home and then I'll give you guys a grocery haul and we will unload the groceries together. So here's my little grocery haul. I got two bags of this Nooch Pop. It's my favorite. It's vegan popcorn and it's made with like good oils, coconut oil, avocado oil. Definitely check them out. I love their popcorn so much. I just got some chicken thighs for dinner tonight, some cornstarch, some organic brown sugar. I wanted to try this organic salad mix, so I'm going to do it for tonight's dinner. Got some potatoes, some green onions, some peppers, some strawberries, some basmati rice because we ran out. And then some gluten-free flour, just if I want to experiment with my baking. And I got some soy sauce for tonight's dinner and then some San Pellegrino because you guys know I've been obsessed with this. And then some eggs and some zevia. And that is the little haul. Hi guys, excuse the bareness of this room right now. I am currently renovating it and I don't really have anything in here because everything has been taken out and put in the hallway since I'm still working on it. So yeah, that's why it's so plain. But anyways, on to my next tip, create a to-do list. This gives me the most motivation ever. I'm not kidding. Please just do this. I feel like I've been a broken record saying to create a to-do list, but it has really changed my life. Buy a little notebook, buy a to-do list pad, anything. Something that you find cute though. The cuter the notebook is or the notepad is, the more you're going to feel inclined to use it. I'm not saying you have to go spend $300, but go to your local little store or go online and find yourself a cute notebook that you really like. And I promise you, it will motivate you to want to write inside of it, which will motivate you to make a to-do list, which will motivate you to do things so this is actually a new notebook that i just got from winners and it was only 5.99 so cheap i have my to-do list that i just wrote down for the day and every time i do something i just highlight it i personally like to do a physical to-do list better than a digital one i go through phases where i just go back and forth and i prefer different things but right now i'm in my physical to-do list era even if it's the smallest task even if you need to do something that day that's as small as picking your underwear up from the floor write it down i like to use the five minute rule so write everything every single thing you need to do that day no matter how small it is on your to-do list and start doing the things first that will take you under five minutes and what this does is build momentum because then you do one thing it didn't even take you long you but go back to your to-do list you cross it off and you're like wow that is such a good feeling and then it leads into you 
wanting to do the rest of your to-do list because it's such a satisfying feeling of checking things off so starting with things that take the least amount of time kind of give you that momentum and build it up and then you'll end up doing your whole to-do list in no time having a to-do list i swear is so impactful a lot of the times i get overwhelmed for what i need to do in the day putting that onto paper just really is the best thing ever and it just makes my mind feel so much clearer because i don't need to be thinking about it anymore because i have it all written down ready for me and you don't need to think of it in a particular order just write it down just brainstorm your to-do list out and then read it look at the things that will take you under five minutes and do those right away and then continue on motivation is all about keeping your momentum and this really really helps you to do that so i already crossed off two things on my to-do list that i needed to do today which were pretty small things so the next small thing that i have to do is fold my laundry and then put in my towels for wash so we're gonna do that right now together and yeah so 10 out of 10 recommend getting a to-do list you don't even have to get a cute notebook if you really don't want to just write it on a piece of paper but i swear having a cute notebook really does make a difference at least for me so let's get working TV while I cook. This is one of my favorite things to do to unwind at the end of the night. While cooking dinner, having my show playing on the TV, I turn the TV towards me so I can see it better and I just cook and have a good time. This really helps me stay motivated because not only do I have something to look forward to after I accomplish what I accomplished today, but it kind of just resets my mind because I'm not thinking about my work I have to do. I'm not thinking about what I did today, what I have to do tomorrow. I'm just in the present moment. So not only is it important to reward yourself but it's also really important to have something to look forward to whether that's putting on a face mask at the end of the night taking a bath watching your favorite show reading your favorite book whatever that looks like for you integrate something into your daily routine that you're excited for every single day once you've done what you needed to do and in a way it is kind of like a reward and it's just like such a nice way to reset at the end of the day and then i'll sit down on the couch watch some youtube videos and stuff to get motivated for the next day but you definitely need to give yourself that time to just relax let your brain just be cooking i realize it's actually one of my hobbies now since i cook dinner like every day find new recipes it's kind of a hobby and i feel like a lot of people don't see it like that but i kind of see it like that now where it's like this is something i do to take my mind off other things and it's something i do for fun i experiment with new recipes and it's not like i'm a natural talented cook at all so me cooking and even me baking is kind of just like a way to express myself and be creative and learn new things it really just resets my brain and helps me to relax at the end of the day and i really do look forward to this time at night i just feel like it really helps prolong my motivation it's definitely necessary to reset yourself if you want to maintain that momentum and that motivation because you can't just keep going and going and going and going and never take a break never relax you need to relax and then you can regain that momentum and motivation for the next day so we're trying out a new recipe tonight i'm going to do ginger beef i have never tried this recipe before i love trying new recipes though i do like adding things to my rotation let's put on some of island and cook dinner So 
here's how the Korean beef bowls turned out. I am so excited to try them and I'm gonna eat it the authentic way with chopsticks because it said to do that in the recipe. And I'm not really good at using chopsticks, so it's a little challenge for me, but it also savors it because I suck at eating with it, so it's like harder to get. So it tastes even better, I feel like, but it looks so good. I just made banana bread and oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have a piece right now. I had some old bananas that were overripe, so I'm like perfect timing. And I love putting a banana over top of it because it just makes it taste so good. But I'm gonna cut myself a piece and keep watching Love Island. It's just such a good healthy dessert to have. I'm gonna put butter over top of it as well. running so late this morning i just have a couple minutes before i absolutely have to leave but i couldn't even finish my bone broth or journal this morning but that is okay sometimes the mornings are just like that and i accidentally slept in so it was my fault but it wasn't my fault you know what i mean so another way that i stay motivated is really just staying positive and focusing on my small wins every day instead of focusing this morning on oh my god i can't believe i woke up late and that just ruined my morning i didn't get to journal i'm not gonna think about that and i'm gonna think wow i still woke up up today and I did my morning routine and I persevered even though I was really tired and I maybe didn't feel like it I am so amazing for doing that like wow look at me go you know what I mean so instead of seeing the negative sides of what happened today I'm just focusing on the positive and I'm congratulating myself even though it's like a small win it makes a huge difference in the long run it's just so easy in life to focus on the bad things that happen to us because they feel more prominent and it's almost like sometimes we're blind to all the amazing good things that are happening around us because they are small but they're very impactful and you'll only really notice them if they're ripped away from us and then you'll be like wow I should have been appreciating that more and celebrating that more so just pay attention to all the little wins you have and celebrate them try to stay positive about everything in your life I know it's impossible sometimes but it's really important to see the bright side of things instead of focusing on the negative side of things because it really does shift your perspective on everything if you catch yourself saying some negative things to yourself try to stop yourself and replace whatever you said with a positive version of that so in your head if you're saying i hate myself replace that with i love myself just try to do that even if it feels fake at first and really forced just do it and it will actually catch on eventually and you may think that the voice in our head saying those things doesn't really matter it's not going to make a difference anyways it actually does make a huge difference and it's so important that we give ourselves positive affirmations instead of always talking down to ourselves it ties into staying motivated because if you're always saying negative things about yourself you're not going to feel motivated to do anything because you don't love yourself and you're not being nice to yourself so why would your brain want to do things for you you know so it all ties in at the end of the day to your mindset and how you control it try your best to have a positive mindset but anyways okay i gotta go let's go work out i'm going to oxygen yoga and fitness today i have a coupon code for a free class with them i will leave it down below i am so excited to go to this power core class today so let's go work out
So my next tip is to try your best to identify and eliminate distractions while you're trying to focus. Creating a dedicated workspace is so important for actually getting things done and finding the motivation to do them. This kind of ties back into your environment and making sure you minimize distractions and make sure you have a desirable spot that will actually make you feel motivated to work every day on whatever that is for you. When I used to work downstairs on the couch or in the kitchen, I'd always be distracted because I was mixing my relaxation space with my work space and that just wasn't right for me. And so now I get so much work done. So it's really all about finding what's right for you. There's also apps that you can download that help you stay off your phone and focus so I definitely recommend getting those as well if you have a problem with that but yeah ever since I created a dedicated workspace for myself my productivity has gone through the roof and I just feel so much more motivated to get things done so before I end off today's video I wanted to give you one last tip it's something that I'm actually constantly doing throughout literally every step of the way and what I'm doing is just visualizing my success and my future life this also also ties into manifestation but if you want to feel motivated in general like i already said you have to have goals right and you have to have an end vision thinking about that vision a lot really helps and it's manifesting it for your future which will really really motivate you if you can't get out of bed if you don't want to go to the gym just envision what your dream self looks like in your dream life and say to yourself okay in order for that to happen i have to do this by doing that it really just gives you the extra motivation to get up and actually do that thing so make sure you're constantly visualizing you know your dream life what you want for yourself and i'm constantly doing this like when i'm cleaning the kitchen in the morning when i'm working out when i'm driving when i'm grocery shopping i'm constantly thinking about my future life and how excited i am for it and just manifesting things which makes me really really motivated to do my daily tasks and to get the things that i need to get done it really helps me want to actually do those things in the present because i know that doing these things will lead me to where i want my future to be so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe go follow me on instagram let me know any video requests that you guys have down below and thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much